Hi everyone, my name is Anfisa. I just finished my ophthalmology residency at Mayer Medical Center in Israel and currently I'm doing my research fellowship at UPMC in the United States and I'm on my way to becoming a retina surgeon. So this is a retina coach and today I'm going to talk about techniques for performing non-assistant vitreous based shaving and peripheral laser with scleral depression. The first technique for performing non-assistant scleral indentation and simultaneous vitreous based shaving consists of using a stationary light system, which allows freeing up the hand holding a light probe. Chandelier light is an excellent example of a stationary diffuse wide field elimination system, allowing the surgeon to perform scleral indentation with one hand and vitreous shaving with the other. Most of the chandelier probes require additional sclerotomy for insertion of the fiber tip. However, some models can still be placed into regular scleral cannulas. The disadvantage of a chandelier during peripheral shave is that diffused light can reduce the clear view of retinal details. Another example of a stationary light system is an illuminated infusion. The illuminated infusion system consists of optic fiber connected to the infusion line. It can be inserted into regular scleral cannula. Because fiber optic competes for space with an infusion line, recommended to increase infusion pressure by 15% to achieve the desired pressure ranges inside the eye. Besides a stationary light system, an external illuminated scleral depressor can also help perform non-assisted vitreous based shaming. The illuminated scleral depressor consists of an illumination light pipe with an adapter sleeve. The idea of the sleeve is to protect the light pipe from its damage while depressing the sclera and also to prevent the atherogenic scleral injury, which is possible in highly myopic patients. Sleeves of different designs are commercially available, but they also can be easily prepared on your own, as you can currently see in this video. For sleeve preparation, 20 gauge pink IV cannula is taken and cut. The catheter is then used as a sleeve, protecting the light pipe. Other techniques of sleeve preparation are described in the literature. I will attach to the description of this video links to the articles on this topic. Now you can see an internal and external view of scleral indentation with an illuminated scleral depressor. The illumination of the light probe should be turned on to the maximal values. A scleral depressor transillumination provides visualization of the local peripheral retinal area, simultaneously allowing vitreous based shaving that is not shown in this video. The eliminated laser probe is the last thing I wanted to mention while talking about non-assisted scleral depression. It allows simultaneously to laser in the far periphery holding the probe with one hand and performing scleral indentation with the other. The disadvantage is a small field of illumination. We welcome you to visit our retinacoach.com website and if you want us to do a future video on the specific topic, write it down in the comments to the video and we will be happy to create it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button and share our video with others. Thank you for your attention.